Hey guys, so I thought I would share a day in the life and for today I thought I would also show me getting ready because I feel like I never do that and the reason for that is because I hate my bathroom. It's so tiny and hard to film in. But anyways, I'm going to try my best. So I don't know if I'm going to show you guys like me applying makeup or anything, but I'm just going to show you what I use. So I always use this primer. Um, this one was given to me and there's still a lot left in it. So when it's done, I will probably just look for a new one. And this is the foundation that I use. So I'm just going to apply that really quickly. So, um, the foundation I use is not a full coverage. It is just like a skin tint um, moisturizing foundation because I don't like the full coverage stuff. But um, anyways, for blush, I'm just using for today this little mini tart brush. I actually got this um, from an Ipsy bag. Yeah. So yeah, I'm going to put that on now. So next I'm just using this little Wet n Wild palette that I got on Amazon for like literally $5. So yeah, I don't know which one I'm going to apply. So this one matches the shirt I'm wearing. So I think I'm going to use that and maybe some of this one for some like shimmer. So you can see it's not very dark, but I don't like a lot of makeup. So it works for me. And next I'm using this Cara Beauty Mascara. I don't know if this is a good brand or not. I actually got it where my husband works and it was a really good deal. So yeah, I don't know if it's a really good brand or not, but it does work really well and actually stays on. And for lips, I've just been using this CoverGirl Tinted Lip Balm. And it is just this really pretty berry color. It shows on a lot lighter than it actually looks. So this is all I really do for makeup. <laughs> I like to keep it really simple. Um, but anyways, now I'm just going to diffuse my hair. I don't do this every single day, but I find lately when I towel dry my hair, it's been drying really weird. And so I'm just going to diffuse it to make it a little more styled. I do straighten my hair a lot, as you guys know if you've been here for a while but it takes a lot more time than just like diffusing it. So yeah. But So I just decided to leave my hair in a messy bun because it just did not curl the way I wanted it to. I don't know why, it is so frustrating, but lately when I leave my hair curly, it is just not looking the way I want it to. So this is what we are working with for today, but that's okay because it makes it easier anyways for me while I'm doing chores and things like that. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this little quick get ready with me. And now let's get into the rest of the day. We haven't done too much today, but my girls are playing outside. It's only 11, but my toddler's hungry for lunch. So I'm making her some Annie's and then I'm making myself some tuna salad. So I've just added to my tuna salad some Miracle Whip mustard dill seasoning, which is super good. Lemon juice and salt and pepper. So all the help is Last time she was sleeping. So we're gonna mix the brown sugar. I'm just gonna do this part because it's kind of messy. You can put that in the bowl. Yes. And half a cup. Mix it in. Can I put it 
the chips. Ah. Video clip is strictly for my friend Ray Lynn over at Our For Sure Life just to share how my children also eat the chocolate chips. So there you go, Emily. <laughs> so the oven is preheating, waiting for the cookies to go in. Um, and I just want to quickly share. I know on my channel often I will share videos of like my children helping in the kitchen and helping like baking cookies and just teaching them simple skills in the kitchen. And I want to emphasize this because I feel like a lot of times these skills are neglected. Even as homeschoolers, we can get into the habit of we have to get math done, we have to get language arts done, we have to get science done, that life skills can often just be kind of overlooked. And I definitely could improve in this area a lot. However, I do think it's telling that these days a lot of young people, even teenagers, have literally no kitchen skills or like no life skills, like they just don't know how to do anything in their homes. I think it is really important that we make it a priority to sometimes step away from the workbooks and have them just help in the kitchen or help with chores or just like teach them how to cook and all of these things. And these things they actually teach a lot while you're doing it for example I know everybody likes to say baking teaches math and this is true however it also teaches teamwork it teaches how to follow directions and instructions it teaches that everybody has a job to do especially if you're doing it with multiple children so there are definitely many benefits in my opinion to teaching your kids how to bake and cook and making that part of your homeschool day so yeah, I just want to encourage you guys in that to definitely make sure you're not sleeping on some of these other skills that are equally important as your child learning their times tables or learning how to read. So yeah, that is just my little encouragement for today. So to my Instant Pot, I added about three and a half chicken breasts and some taco sauce, water, and taco seasoning. So I'm going to cook that for about five or six minutes in the Instant Pot, and I'm going to use it for some chicken quesadillas and chicken tacos, as well as some rice for dinner. So this is the rice I'm going to have with it. I've been buying these lately, and they are just really good. So uh, yeah, I like that it's already flavored. I mean, I usually will make my own, but I just really love this because it's so quick and simple and it tastes delicious. So this is dinner for tonight. I just decided to use taco shells because I had a taco kit as well as some wraps here, but I was craving tacos. So this is dinner for tonight. That is all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you will like and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. God bless. I was lost in a city dream And I was at home again beside the street